Afternoon, Collective. Uh, there's some fun energy coming through that I'm just enjoying. And I want to pull cards on it just to bask in it, basically, because it feels good. And I want to appreciate it, I want to amplify it, I want to encourage it in myself, and I want to encourage it in the atmosphere for the collective. It feels like something fresh. Fresh to death. Uh, why am I getting... It's a lot of fresh, just the word fresh. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, hello fresh. <laughs> something very springy and new and alive and invigorating and mm, mm, just kind of it's feeling myself kind of energy i like it i am here for it it's definitely resonating with me i played an open mic last night that was amazing i feel amazing having done that and I'm definitely going to do it some more. And I'm I'm just stepping into this energy of, yeah, I'm a badass. I'm a fucking badass. I feel like a lot of us are transitioning, particularly if you are in a divine feminine polarity, this is what we are stepping into. We are owning our inner badass. We are moving into that space. A hundred percent. Shape shifting, expanding into it, releasing, sloughing off this old diminished, demure, shy, hiding in the shadows kind of identity. It's time for us to step into the limelight, Divine Feminine, and that doesn't mean you can be male or female. It does not matter, okay? You know who you are if you are resonating with this energy. That's the energy you're embodying because it's what's happening right now, astrologically, collectively, just in general. It is Divine Feminine rising, and to me it is reflective of something I read and learned about just a couple of days ago, having to do with Dr. Robert Moore, I believe. He's a doctor, he's got a PhD, I don't know. Robert Moore, neo-Jungian uh, psychologist, who has done a lot of study and work in t looking into the archetypes of masculine and feminine. I haven't read very much yet. I'm not terribly educated on it. It seems like the bulk of his work does have to do with outward gender and the energy transitions of a male, physical male and physical females. However, everything is energy. <laughs> everything is energy. It's all connected and it's all in layers. And to me, what is taking place at this time, regardless of the physical representation of anything, is that collectively we are reaching this state, which he refers to as the midlife. Not, it could relate to midlife crisis, um, but in his study, again, of what appears to be predominantly heterosexual couples relating to the outward expression of gender as energy, females at the midlife start out, first of all, female, see, this is the way I perceive it as female energy. Um, it applies both ways. So we'll start with just female energy is predominantly on the lover side of the archetype. It, it is attentive and nurturing and so falls into all of the traps as well of the imbalance of that energy, which can be overgiving, can be self-diminishing, seeking worth in others, seeking validation and external... Ex <laughs> seeking validation and external recognition of the self and of worth. Uh, versus the masculine, again, I'm going to just say masculine energy starts out predominantly on the warrior side of the archetype, which is very aggressive, can be, uh, when not balanced, but it is intended to be the protector, the champion aspect, that which puts in the effort, the motivation, the inspiration, which fights for something, uh, and so, to me, energetically, humanity, the collective soul of humanity, is reaching the midlife point. The midlife point in Dr. Moore's study is the point at which this polarity flips. So, from his understanding, females, biological females, uh, whatever, whatever, 
reach this midlife point and suddenly the polarity switches from being predominantly lover energy to a sudden influx of the warrior energy which leads to a rise in self-sovereignty essentially and, and self-actualization and realizing that they don't need no man right and uh conversely on the other side the masculine physical masculine experiences a polarity switch from warrior to the lover aspect and so suddenly has a loss of all of this driving forward moving energy and experiences a new sensation of deep emotion um essentially just the other side of it they, they switch roles energetically which again by his study is why a lot of women suddenly become fed up with their husbands or whatever at a certain point demanding some kind of change the husbands feeling more emotional are wanting to talk things out more wanting to actually feel and experience an emotional discussion whereas the women become more action oriented all of that to say <laughs> This to me feels like what is happening energetically. So the collective soul of humanity, which inherently has feminine and masculine aspects within, is experiencing the midlife point at which the feminine aspect, which has been in the predominantly lover energy, is now experiencing a rise of internal masculine essentially that so this is the other way i see it as <laughs> this is going to be convoluted but there are four archetypes in moore's philosophy the king the magician the lover and the warrior these things making up our internal subsets uh, our, our persona to me the king and the warrior represent the emperor the masculine energy the lover and the magician represent the feminine energy and so it is within all of us and as it is within all of us it is at the higher level within the collective soul as well so at the collective level the king and the warrior which are the masculine emperor energies are shifting into the lover and magician side while the feminine is shifting into the warrior and king side internally <laughs> because each of our aspects masculine and feminine are actually fractal in nature they have their own subsets your masculine energy has masculine and feminine energy within it your feminine energy has masculine and feminine energy <laughs> within it and so it's reflected in spiral all the way down but what's happening is the collective internal feminine is experiencing a rise of its internal masculine energy. A stepping into that power. Feminine rising is the predominant. That, that's the effect. On the flip side, because everything has an inverse the masculine the collective masculine is experiencing a rise of its internal feminine energy so <laughs> that's that uh just felt like sharing that that is why because we've had a masculine slanted energetically society again this has nothing to do with gender it's impacting more people on the masculine side than it is on the feminine side because there has there's been less there has been collectively less of us in the predominant feminine divine feminine polarity of energy so <laughs> this is i haven't i haven't worked it all out yet but um this is what i'm feeling and i felt like sharing and now I'm just going to get into this. Um, if you're still watching, hey, you're awesome. Thanks for sticking with me. And clearly you're resonating with this in some capacity. Um, 
yeah, I never know what the hell I'm saying or what's coming out of my mouth. It just sort of, it's, it's all a work in progress, right? That's all any of this is. It's a work in progress and it is constantly shifting. We are in constant states of transition, especially right now. There is North Node activity that took place yesterday. And again, this is predominantly affecting those who have been in masculine polarity of energy. This is creating the shift of looking at the self in a more loving fashion. Same for the feminine, but in a different way. Um, it's, it's more about self-empowerment. <laughs> I'm going to stop there. Um, yeah, uh, there's a masculine that's feeling like, you know what, I got some options. There's my coworker. She's very sweet. It's options on both sides, actually. There's a realization that, you know what? I deserve better for myself. I deserve better. Yeah, uh, there's sudden clarity about that taking place. It does feel like there will be a lot of relationships terminated this Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way. I hope you're being your own Valentine. Because you deserve you mm, so much. More than anybody else. There's a lot of shifts taking place. Uh, yeah, big time. Um. <laughs> the masculine energy that has been trapped in karmic situations. Karmic is not a dirty word. It is just a word that describes energetically unbalanced I held up the fool, but I was looking for the two of pentacles underneath. Um, this is very scattered as well. There's, it's kind of a frantic energy. It's kind of struggling to even get the words out. It's a little bit anxious, but it's mostly excited. The masculine energy is realizing that the situations it's been invested in are not what it wants. And it's starting to see the positive side of this, of realizing now that I know what I don't want, I can move towards what I do with clarity, with certainty, with deliberance. Um, and so it feels like that taking place of, I want the option that feels free that is free. It's free for me to choose. I'm free to make this decision. I'm free to make this jump at any time. And I'm think I'm thinking that it's time to. It feels like time to. It's time to take this leap. We got the sad horse under Eight of Swords. Somebody energetically who has... Been... It's a lot of somebody's... This is collective... It's going to play out differently at every level. But this is this is the collective energy of the masculine realizing I have been unhappy and in unhappy situations for a very long time. A very, very long time. And I've gone back and forth with myself over what do I do? How do I fix this? Can I fix this? And I'm coming to the conclusion it's the way that I fix it is by leaving is by demanding better of myself and for myself, simply walking away, realizing that that which doesn't want me equivalently, which isn't reciprocating to me, is not something that I want. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's exactly what the conflict, walking away from this, look at all of this heavy, heavy energy, oh my goodness, pain, sorrow, conflict, anxiety. I don't want this anymore. I don't want to be in this headspace. Red, tremendous root chakra healing, realizing, feeling safe, actually ta taking this step away. Realizing the pentacles don't keep you safe. They just keep you restricted. They keep you hidden. They keep you diminished. They keep you unsatisfied. You can't 
live on pentacles. Society would tell you otherwise. Society would tell you that pentacles are everything you need. Money. That if you don't have money, you can't survive. Well, there are plenty of people who have money who are surviving, but they are not living. They are desperately unhappy. They are desperate to leave their situation, to leave the planet, even. Because they don't have the cups. The soul lives on cups. That's where the emotion lives. That's You're not truly alive. You're not truly living if you're not feeling. And when you try to base your life on pentacles, on material things, and just assume that the emotion's going to come afterwards, that's not how it works. It doesn't work that way. The emotion comes first. The masculine is figuring that out. Figuring out that doing things by the book, doing things that were just expected of them, that they were told to do, to be productive, successful citizens. They don't feel successful. They don't feel satisfied with any of it. It might all look good on paper, but inside it's woefully unfulfilling. Woefully unfulfilling. And they are so desperate to walk away from it, realizing I... I have to make a change because I can't stand myself. I can't stand this version of me. This is not me. I don't like this person that I, I am. And it's, I know this isn't me. This isn't true to me. Yeah. Oh, desperate to get out, to communicate this. It's a deep inner knowing and it's also a, a burning passion for a different kind of connection, a different deep emotional relationship. There aren't cups here, but it's, yeah, look at this. The Empress underneath, again, this is the drive towards the feminine energy that is taking place in the soulmate cycle. It's also indicative of the rise of feminine, the internal feminine within the masculine, but it plays out at every level and particularly with the energy of Valentine's Day, which is not an astrologically important <laughs> event. There's nothing taking place in the atmosphere, but because of years of collective contemplation and emotion in regard to this day, there is a massive amount of energy tied to it. <sighs> the masculine is feeling pulled. It's so, it's so lonely over here in this other place. I mean, just painful. And it's driving them crazy that they haven't moved towards this. There's, there is an urge, an urgency. Yep. The soul is not going to shut up about this. It is screaming that it's time to make a move. It's time to come out of that shell. It's time to step forward towards the feminine. Look at that. To stop delaying. <laughs> stop delaying this destined path. Stop delaying this manifestation. Stop delaying the desire. Because it's absolutely clear. It is crystal fucking clear. Yeah. Come on. Come on. There's nothing in the, the current connections, there is nothing. The universe is trying so hard to bring an end to these karmic cycles, to the karmic relationships. It's time for the lesson to be learned. The lesson is value yourself, love yourself, be open and honest about your emotions and your true desires. Realize this isn't it that is it the whole point of why they're realizing this is because of contact with the feminine because of soul recognition that showed them what they've been denying what they've been running from what they really want that they pushed away because they were afraid to go after it they were afraid of how it would be received by others how it would be perceived of what would change in their stability. And the universe is just driving them towards this. 
as powerfully as possible. And it's going to keep happening because this is part of a much, much larger cycle, again, of things energetically coming to balance. And what that means as the feminine experiences a rise in her masculine energy internally, she is coming into balance with herself. She is coming into union within. That is the driving force behind the masculine experiencing the inverse of this same process coming into stepping into this increase of internal feminine energy which is driving him also to an internal union all of this has to take place within first but as within so without the manifestation is promised it's law it's the way the universe works what is experienced internally is reflected must be reflected by the external we create reality there's there are going to be just so many changes this year restructuring political restructuring a lot a lot, a lot of, I don't really want to use the word cataclysmic, but it's what's coming up. Cataclysmic natural events as the earth herself continues this process of balance. Just tell me, okay, I'm just going to pull on the energy of so the, the current soulmate cycle is especially important because of its role in the overall balancing of earth's energy right now what did i just say the overall balancing <laughs> of everything of earth's energy The universe wants these counterpart energies to come together. It's not about love <laughs> to the universe. It's about, holy shit, look at that justice. It's about fixing this. It's about absolutely fixing this. These are technically upright, but they fell out in reverse. Yeah, it's just, it's about bringing the earth to balance. It's about the energies being restored to balance. That is all the universe cares about. What that looks like, what that translates to in 3D for us is happiness. It is happy, balanced connections with one another. That's what balanced energy manifests as. Which means we got to leave the unbalanced ones behind. That's why this soulmate cycle is so critically important. Because it has to do with the closing out of a tremendous amount of karma. It's time for Earth, for the collective of all humanity, to learn our karmic lessons once and for all. Why? Because we've asked for it. Because the Earth has asked for it again. The earth has asked for justice. The consciousness of Gaia herself has asked to be restored to natural order. That's not going to be denied. <laughs> it's not going to be denied because we're asking for this with her. And so again, that plays out at all levels of society and all levels of energy. But a big part of this is this soulmate cycle, is the coming together. Look at that. The bringing together of cooperative components. It's time for this to take place. <laughs> My God. 
it's just time again why is it time because because energetically we have matured to this point it's like turning 18 it's like older than that for humanity's soul but what why is it time for you to become an adult because you are an adult <laughs> because that's just what it is because you have reached this stage because humanity has reached the stage where it's time for us to stop pussyfooting around with karma to just it's we're done it's time for us to step into our roles into spiritual adulthood spiritual maturity as the divine deliberate creators that we are it's time for us to move into unity consciousness how does that start by coming into union with ourselves with our own consciousness the next level up of that coming into union with other individuals loving relationships moving into the the familial and community level moving up to the broader society and global level it's time because we've matured to this point what did i just say it's time for <laughs> oh it's time for the toxic shit to end so that the balance the true balance can take place and it is taking place internally You can't make this stuff up. The masculine energy is coming to balance because the feminine energy is coming to balance. Because it's time for this to happen. Oh my god. Okay. I just keep getting time off of the. It doesn't matter if you don't think you're ready. Did this it did come out in reverse yeah we're starting to see the broader perspective the actual broader perspective of these karmic cycles too collectively understanding the patterning of our own behavior the conditioning that has guided our lives up to this point that has led us to this this place Whereas people, we're not who we want to be. As a society, we're not what we want to be. Realizing that we have to look within to identify what it is that's gotten us here. Not so we can root it out, so we can look at it, so we can let it express because it's been repressed. That's what's gotten us to this point. All of this hiding in the shadow, all of this fear of being open, of being honest, of being who we truly are. We've repressed it so much that we don't know how to get back to it. We don't know how to feel who we are. If you don't know who you are, you don't know what you want. And if you don't know what you want, how are you going to work for it? How are you going to achieve it? It's just continual karmic cycles. The universe has had enough. It is enough. It's time for this to stop. The energy of the connection between masculine and feminine is it's time to reconcile it's time to come to balance what's happening what's happening in the 3d the masculine is feeling this in a big way wanting to make changes feeling more positive about it i think Again, feeling up in that feminine energy. Feeling more deserving of love, of standing up for the self. What's happening in the 3D? How is this translating? I don't want to 
why I'm feeling a lot of confident breakup energy. Look at that death at the bottom. I would say that. Yeah, just like I'm really not happy with this anymore. And it's not your fault. And genuinely meaning that. Actually taking responsibility, not blaming the other party. Understanding we have been mutually complicit in carrying out this relationship which really has not been to either of our benefit and I appreciate everything that you have done for me and the way that we have grown together into this space where I can now see it's time to move on it's time to transition to the next thing the thing that is authentic the thing that is balanced the thing that is loving that we both deserve we both deserve someone who chooses us fully tell me about the 3d why am i shuffling so much thank you yeah it's time Time to hit the road, Jack. That's what I'm... But in a kinder way. In a kinder way. Again, it's... We both deserve something better. We deserve something that... Is equal give and take, and it's on the same level. It's on the level. It's balanced. It's easy. It's an easy flow. Yeah, this is not it. This is not it. That's a, that's a clear decision. We deserve something that doesn't hurt both of us. Both of us. You're not happy. I'm not happy. We deserve to be giving to ourselves, number one. We deserve to be pursuing our own happiness and generating that internally, but clearly this environment is not conducive to it. This connection is not conducive to it. <laughs> and there needs to be a change. There absolutely needs to be a change. What's on top? Yeah, there needs to be a change. There's a lot of people getting brave today in speaking this. If there was a halfway commitment, it is, it's now a committed to moving on energy to, yeah. Committed to balance, committed to finding balance and stability. And it, it's not here. It's not here. Where is it? It's with the Divine Feminine. Because that's what the universe is dictating. Oh, I just got an excruciating, like an ice pick through the top of my head. Where is it? Like a direct beam of energy. I don't know what that is. Maybe I'll hopefully translate that later it felt like a direct transmission of some kind maybe just realizations for this masculine energy of a sense of a higher calling again a sense of being called to this from a deeper place a higher place the inner knowing the rise of intuition of that feminine understanding there's something there's something greater calling me and you there's something greater a greater purpose a greater love a greater life experience out there for both of us ah the hanged man is still still in reverse here and it's time to go after it it is time to go after it I'm gonna just put that back yeah oh the soul is very clear on this it's Time to make a move. I mean, yeah. This this bird's got to take flight. This communication has to take place. This action must be taken. 
There's just, there's no more waiting around. Look at that, the freaking tower underneath judgment. There's no more waiting around. Again, this is a higher cause. This is a higher power coming in and saying, it's time to move. It is time to move. When you have your finger in an electrical socket or you're struck by lightning, well, technically it's hard to pull your hand out of there because your body is rigid, but, uh, <laughs> It's you, you have you got to do something to disengage. You're going to keep short circuiting yourself, it's going to continue being painful unless you make a change. Unless you uh, take this action, this motion forwards towards the soul path. What's the hidden energy here? This is this is all universal energy. It's just true. It is painful. What's the hidden energy here? Message from the universe. You asked for this. That's what I'm hearing. You asked for this. It's for your highest good and purpose. It's going to just continue to be more and more painful, more and more challenging to stay in karmic situations until you move. Until you move, until you see that this is karmic. It's the short-sighted, fearful diminishment of self-thinking that's kept us in these karmic connections. When the whole time we've been manifesting something else, something new. Something stable with the Divine Feminine. And we desperately need to move towards it and stop holding on to this. Because this is the connection that's not going to let go. Again, look at that. This is the connection that's not going to let go. It's the one we can't deny. It's time to take this journey. It just fell open to the Six of Wands. Again, that's heart chakra, throat chakra opening. And opening, it's like the spigot has been unscrewed. If you've ever turned on a hose and you've turned it so far that the spigot, the, the wheel actually comes off the top and now there's no way to turn it off. It's just, it's wide open flow. This energy is just pumping through and it's not gonna stop until the masculines move until the masculine energy shifts towards the feminine and actually energetically again this has already taken place at the 5d level many of these conversations have already happened the energy has already moved it comes up in all of my readings on my energy constantly there is a masculine energy sitting on top of me right now and it's fucking infuriating <laughs> because it's just there and it keeps coming in it keeps saying ah, that it, it wants to be here and you know whether or not a 3d person comes with it i don't care that's not up to me that's up to free will it does mean some kind of 3d manifestation is coming with it but You know, I have surrendered the timeline. It feels like it could be months. I don't. I really don't know. I really don't care. <laughs> I'm focused on myself. But energetically, this has already taken place. In the 5D, the masculine is coming towards and balancing and merging with the feminine. Because again, the feminine has found balance and is achieving union within herself energetically. And so it's creating this, this pull magnetically that's just what it is it's already happened at the 5d level look at that it has already what did i just say at the 5d level 
the masculine energy has already come towards the empress it's just in the 3d that things are dragging final outcome here but we gotta just stay focused on the self that's the other thing too uh the masculine energy is like knocking it's like trying to find a way in no no <laughs> respectfully fuck all the way off with your bullshit <laughs> you gotta be vulnerable you the whole point the whole lesson is for the 3d person to come forwards whoever i don't care it doesn't have to be one specific person it's for a 3d person who's been experiencing this karmic lesson to make a move towards the feminine that's the whole, it's the whole point that's the whole point of this soulmate cycle because it's got a bigger purpose it's about ending karma it's not just about bringing soulmates together it's not even just about certain parts of energy balancing it's about all of it balancing across the board and that means all karma repaid all debts repaid which means the masculine has to be vulnerable and has to come towards the feminine energy look at that oh my god And again, I do not care who. I have said many times, and I'm not going to repeat myself to the universe, but maybe it's Harry Styles. Maybe it's Esther Hicks. Maybe it's Emily Haynes. Mmm. Mmm, she's looking fine. I don't know who or what. I do not care. I just know it's taking place. Look at that. <laughs> because it's excruciating it is absolutely excruciating and this is being illuminated i keep getting double cards it's time for everything to change at every level of existence for this equal give and take we're experiencing within ourselves divine feminine to be reflected at every level and this is how we are shifting reality this is how we are manifesting new earth a new earth that is balanced energetically it's starting within, but because it's starting within, it has to take place without. You can't make this shit up. Union achieved within is union achieved without. I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna bother. I do not need to clarify this. This is abundantly clear. The Three of Swords, one of the cards predominantly that according to Steve, my guy, who knows nothing of who I am, but I, he's been studying this cycle, which I am now studying as well, inspired by all of this. And it makes perfect sense to me that this would be a card that pops up more and more towards the end of the soulmate cycle because it's just, it's when people can't take it anymore. It's, I can't take this anymore energy i gotta move i gotta make a change i gotta shift things have to come into balance what things are coming into balance souls why because the universe wants them to why does the universe want these souls to come into balance because it's a massive karmic lesson for the ego-driven emperor masculine energy to stop holding back, to be vulnerable, to express, to give. That's what it is all about. The balancing of masculine and feminine energies. The repayment of these karmic debts. The unification of these deeply intertwined destined soulmate connections for the balancing and healing of all of the earth setting the earth on a higher path a higher timeline together 
what's on top it's the sun baby you can't keep back the sun it's gonna come up no matter what you can't not turn 18 you can't not go through puberty <laughs> it's time souls it's time collective soul we have matured M richard wow <laughs> we have reached maturity i'm gonna go with that We've reached the midlife. It's time for this energy to come to balance. Why? Because it is. The same reason that when it's time for the sun to come up, it just is. <laughs> it's just, it's a part of the cycle. It is a part of the broader cycles of existence, which simply take place. They cannot be stopped. This cannot be stopped. This clarity this joy, this happiness, it's not going to be stopped. It's time for the blessings. It's time for the end of suffering. It's time for us to step into our roles as divine deliberate creators. And all of this is going to change and continue changing the same way the seasons do, the same way the day changes. That's just what it is. It's time for this. And I, I'm going to keep saying that because it is. Because it's it's not going to stop being time. <laughs> oh. Celebration energy. It's time for open. This is that open valve. This is the spigot with the, the valve wheel just completely removed. It's time for equal give and take. And it's time to experience that within self 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 spirit father son holy spirit it's it's time for this union within to be reflected without that's it i'm not even gonna bother with three final cards or clarification this is the whole message it's abundantly clear it's uh it's going to keep being time <laughs> and it's not going to stop mama bird is coming to kick the birds out of the nest because it's time for them to fly it's time for them to move on it's time for them to have their own lives and uh, it's time for these damn soulmates to come together why? because the universe wants it to happen because the universe wants the energy to balance because the earth has asked for it to Okay, that's the end of my rant. That was fun and rambly and a work in progress, as all things are. So, yeah. If you made it this far, God bless you. Thank you for your resonance. If you are resonating and if you made it here, I believe you are. Why not share an energetic exchange with this? You know, I appreciate it. The universe appreciates it. Leave me a like, leave me a comment, whatever you feel like, express yourself. That's all. It's really hard for me to say this, but I'm trying to force myself to, because energetically, I need to, I need to request balance. I need to be a part of this equilibrium. So that's what it is. Regardless though, always, I hope you have a fantastic afternoon. Happy Valentine's Day. You are so deeply loved and appreciated. I just always I hope you know that always and always in every vector of time and space you know I love you baby have a beautiful day